I mean, do you take the kids on trips at all? I mean, you're always yeah, working. No, I, me and the kids uh, have great times together. And, yeah. and being a being a, a single uh, parent is is a little easier because you don't have to agree with every the other parent. That's the hardest part of <laughs> being a parent is the other parent because you have to agree on everything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. no one, no two grown-ups ever agree on anything. Right, right. It's just one of them goes fine. That's all that ever happens. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, but when you're a single parent, you get to go, let's go camping. I just said it one day in yeah. June. I was like, let's go camping. So we just put a bunch of stuff in the car, and we just drove down to Maryland. This is where we went. And we went to a little state park, and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and we walked around. We borrowed marshmallows from neighboring campers. Oh. You can do that when you have kids, because they're like little ambassadors. You can just walk up to yeah. them. <laughs> if I'm alone, I can't just come out of the woods. Hi. It's, <laughs> it's a really nice fire. <laughs> Is that your wife? She's really pretty. <laughs> like I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get yeah. eight marshmallows, please? <laughs> so, anyway, we get, make a tent, and uh, I've never camped much. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, you... Never did much camping. Really, not a camper. Yeah, I'm just stuck. trying it out with the kids. <laughs> and so they go to sleep. I thought they'd be too afraid to go to sleep. They went right to sleep, and I couldn't sleep. I was terrified because I keep hearing these creatures outside, <laughs> and then I hear heavy footfalls. Like there's something big outside. Right. right. And I look, and I swear, three bears. Three bears? There are three bears and, walking around my car. And porridge? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at three live bears through the slit in the paper that separates us from it. <laughs> and in my head, I know bears and campers, and it ha but there's at least an 8% chance that my kids are going to get eaten by bears right, right now, which is an unacceptable percentage to me. And I'm thinking to myself, what would I do? If my kids, because when you're a parent, you put yourself through nightmares. Sure, yeah. what, if my kids got eaten by bears right now, what would I then do? What would be the next step? Yeah. Yeah. And really, your responsibilities come way down. If your kids get eaten by bears, yeah. pretty much sleep late the next morning. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there is... <laughs> There's one thing yeah. I knew that my first responsibility would be to tell them. I have to tell them. I have to call their mom. I'd have to call her. I couldn't just text her, kids dead, bye. <laughs> Don't do that. I'd have to <laughs> call her and tell her this. And how do you say, ah, hello? Uh, and I thought, okay, what I'd have to do is just blurt it out right, right. and then take questions. Right. <laughs> right, right. So I'd have to call her, hi, the, kid, the kids are dead because bears ate their bodies. Maryland. <laughs> it was three bears. No, not the three bears. It was just three. I don't think they knew each other. It was just three bears. <laughs> well, one ate one kid, and the other two shared the other one. <laughs> no, it wasn't quick at all. It was horrible. <laughs> I was in the car. <laughs> but, <laughs> so that's what I'd have to do. We'll take a break. Mom and Louie, right after this.